Another manager has fallen victim to what we like to call sack season. Now, Nuno Espirito Santos' time at the helm of Tottenham has come to an end after just four months. But fear not, Spurs fan, because this current run of form may have actually been a blessing in disguise because there's a new man in town and his name is Antonio Conte. Hello everyone and welcome back to EPL Insights. I'm your host, Lucas Demon, back with more crazy news from the Premier League. Now, all eyes were on the Manchester United Tottenham match this past weekend with questions surrounding both Ali and Nuno's current management of their respective squads. Now, leading up to the match, honestly, it felt like Ali's seat was much hotter. But after leading the Red Devils to an emphatic win over Spurs, the heat transferred over to Nuno's seat. And come Monday morning, Nuno has seen his time at Tottenham come to an end. Just hours later, Antonio Conte emerged as the prime candidate to replace him and his deal was finalized just days after the Spurs defeat. And with that, a new era has begun in Tottenham, the Conte era. Now, Conte's track record is straight up extraordinary, no questions about it. But is he the right man to bring that elusive league title to Tottenham? It's been over 60 years since Tottenham last won the league title. They came pretty close in that 2016-2017 season and then came their brilliant UCL run in the 2018-2019 season, which seemed to have been the peak of Tottenham's football in recent years. But since then, they seem to have been in what we would call transition period. Pochettino was sacked by the club just months after the Spurs UCL final appearance. Then came the special one, and for a while, it seemed like he could be the one to bring EPL glory to Tottenham. For one, he brought out the best versions of Kane and Son we've ever seen, and during the first few months at the helm, Spurs seem to have been rolling, but their hot streak and simultaneously Mourinho's time at Tottenham wound down. Inter Nuno Espirito Santo It's hard to pinpoint any major selling point of his work at Tottenham aside for that opening day win over reigning chance Manchester City, so it's no surprise to see his time end prematurely. And it might have been for the best because it has now allowed Tottenham to bring in a serial winner in Antonio Conte. The man who took 7th place Juventus and brought them 3 league titles in a row. The leader who took 10th place Chelsea and turned them into Premier League champions in his first season. The mastermind who won Inter's first league title in 11 years. If anyone can win Tottenham a title, it's him. But does he have the pieces to do it? Antonio Conte has the gift of taking struggling superstars and turning them into their prime versions. Just take a look at what he did for Romelu Lukaku at Inter. And that's exactly what Tottenham needed to do for the struggling Harry Kane. We saw what Kane was capable of under the right manager with Mourinho, and we think that Conte is more than capable of replicating that. Now, Conte favors a five-back formation. It's his bread and butter, and trying to find that perfect five will be his second most important task. Now, Christian Romero with Regulon and Emerson at wingback seem like the surefire picks. That leaves two center back spots up for grabs. Tanganga is an up-and-coming baller who will most likely benefit from Conte's appointment and his preferred tactics. That leaves Dyer as the more senior and probable pick for the last center half role. And you know what? He might actually benefit from the defensive support in Conte's tactics. But we don't think this is enough, and this is where we give our verdict. Antonio Conte is the right guy for the task at hand, but I think he's still center back and a midfield signing away from obtaining Premier League glory. Now that being said, we think he'll definitely keep Spurs in contention and cause some serious roadblocks for the other big six teams. Thanks for joining us this week and don't forget to tune in to all of our other ICC original shows like ICC Confidential with Fabrizio Romano, The Fixture with Meg Linehan, and ICC What to Watch with Chris Merch, all on internationalchampionscup.com. You can keep up with all things ICC by visiting us at that website and by following us on Instagram and Snapchat at International Champions Cup and Twitter at INT Champions Cup. Until next time, I'm Lucas Demon. Cheers. Cheers.